Hi, I'm Juliana from Collaborate Ed, and I can't wait to show you how to copy, edit, and combine existing teacher decimals activities. Let me go ahead and share my screen. So all you need to do is be signed in to your Desmos account, teacher.desmos.com. And first I'm gonna show you how to copy and edit an activity. So um, I like the starter screen. So I'm gonna start with my screens for checking in. If you haven't checked them out, just Google screens for checking in and they will show up. And the reason you would want to edit something like this is like for a question like number seven it says um, drag the point to show how much you agree or disagree with this statement and then it says insert statement and i don't want to show that to my kids like that so you're going to want to know how to edit this um, just a very basic edit so that something like this doesn't show up for your students when you go to launch the activity so you scroll up to the start of the activity and you click these three dots and then you're just going to click copy and edit so you click that and then it's going to launch the Desmos editor. And please don't feel overwhelmed with this. I know this looks crazy. And there is a lot that you can do. Desmos is well known for their computation layer where you can access all sorts of amazing features, but that is not personally my comfort. So I'm gonna show you just the basics of how you can use Desmos like very simply with this. Um, so for this one, how are you feeling today, right? You can edit any of this text. You can say, um, how has your week been? And then when you click preview, it just changes it. So now it says, how has your week been? And your students can drag green week or yellow week, right? Um, what's new? You could change this to be anything. And this is just a sketch. So you could say, um, sketch what you ate for dinner last night. And when you go to preview, I would want to delete that text, but this is the sketch feature. And so, you know, I had like a bowl of popcorn last night. So maybe that's what we want to draw. Um, but if I come back over here, so this says insert statement, agree, disagree. So maybe I want to ask something like, um, I am confident in my math ability. Right, and I wanna know, do my students agree with that statement or disagree with that statement? And so when I go to preview this now, it doesn't say insert statement, it says I am confident in my math ability and my students can either agree or disagree with that statement. So um, that's how you edit it. I would just, and then you can rename it right here. Um, so I wanna name this demo check-in. I'm going to save that and I'm going to keep this open. I'm not going to hit publish yet, but if you just hit publish right here, then it opens this up or I'll go ahead and hit it. It goes to publish and then it's ready to share with my students. Um, so you just go here and I can click assign either to your classes if you have them connected through Google Classroom or a single session code is what I like to do. You can go ahead and participate in this if you want to, um, RYPYW4, and that is our activity. So um, I'm gonna go back here and now I can um, edit my activity now that I have created this. So that's how you copy and edit an activity. Oh, and then if you would like to see where this goes, um, I didn't change anything. So I'm going to discard that draft. You're like, okay, great. I created it. Now, where is it? Um, go to your activity history. This is like my favorite button. And here it is, demo check-in. So if you want to find that again for your, for your um, students and your classes, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open this again, and I'm going to um, go ahead and go to my activity page is how I get there. And again, I've already duplicated this. So I'm just gonna go to edit and I wanna open this. And let's say I wanna combine a couple activities because Desmos is so powerful in terms of a lesson delivery strategy. I love these check-in questions. And I also love the screens for checking understanding at the end of a lesson. And I also love their activities for during a lesson. So let's say that I wanted to combine all three of those so that students don't have to click into multiple different um, Desmos activities. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to desmos.com um, and click on the teacher activities. And I'm just going to um, right click and duplicate this um, page uh, because I want to have it open for all of my activities. I'm actually going to duplicate this another time. So I'm going to have all three of the activities open. And I'm also going to create something new. So um, I'm gonna go here to custom. 
I'm going to click new activity. And this is going to be demo lesson. And this is going to be three combined Desmos activities. how to dig into the computation layer. Um, and I'm just going to focus on the very, very basics. So I want to start my lesson with at least one check for under or um, community building screens for checking in. I really like this one. Um, where are you at today? So I'm going to do control C. I just did control C. And I'm going to go to my new activity and I'm going to do control V. And pop. I didn't have to redo any of that. It's just right there. Then um, I'm going to go and choose the heart of the lesson. And one of my favorite activities is the awesome coordinate plane activity. So you can Google that. Just Google Desmos awesome coordinate plane activity. This page is going to show up. And again, you can see how many times I've done this. Um, again, you need to open that activity builder. So I'm going to go to copy and edit, even though I'm not editing anything about this activity. And my students struggle with math. So I might not include all nine slides. Um, I really like only the first couple where the grid is still there. So I'm gonna um, highlight the slides that I want to by hold starting clicking on the first slide. And I only wanna do five slides. So I'm gonna, um, oops. Well, I guess I'm gonna go one at a time. So I'm gonna go control C for slide one. And I'm here in my demo lesson, control V. Then I'm gonna go back, slide two, control C, control V, control C, control V. And it's just bringing all of them in. I'm just gonna do that um, for our sake. So I have three target practice problems here. And then, so my students will do that. And then I also love the checking for understanding. So um, here's screens for checking understanding. Again, just Google screens for checking understanding Desmos. I need to open the activity builder. So copy and edit. And this will launch my activity builder. And okay, so I wanna know, was this interesting, confusing? Um, here's another one. What questions do you have today? Um, how well did you understand the math? How did you feel about learning math today? Um, and then also how confident were you with the math? I really like, let's see, I'm gonna do this question right here. How well did you understand the math today? So I did control C. Now I'm just gonna do control V. And now these are all the slides that I want. This is my complete lesson. I can hit publish and this is going to publish my demo lesson. And again, you can just launch this to your students right away. So I'm going to assign a single session code. You can log in if you'd like. And until February or uh, until this expires on August 17th, 2021, you can complete the activity. So when I go here to view my dashboard, when this pops up, if you'd like to participate, go on in. You can go to student.desmos.com and enter 9VX. W9Y, and that will get you into this very activity you saw me make. And I can close this and then um, I can turn on the pacing feature too. So let's say that I just wanna restrict this to our check-in screen. I just turn this on and then we're good to go. And then I'm ready that all my students can log in and get that. And then if I want to then move on to the next ones, I can just open up all of my screens for target practice and then they can do the lesson. And then I can also stop that when I'm ready and just restrict to my checking understanding slide. So hope that was helpful. I'll see you in another video. Be sure to check out the blog.